Oh, I don't let too many people down here. Uh, there's too many expensive uh, games. <laughs> Meet Jake Goldberg, 40-year-old father of two, passionate pinball player, and member of one of the most elite clubs in video game history. I'm not really a gamer. I know that's weird to say. Goldberg is one of only 11 people in the world ever to achieve a perfect score in this arcade classic. That's according to Twin Galaxies, a platform which tracks video game performance. Pac-Man is a maze game. The perfect game is eating every dot, every energizer, every ghost, every bonus, and you cannot die throughout the entire game. Pac-Man used an early form of artificial intelligence, and beating it was no easy feat. The perfect score in Pac-Man is 3,333,360 points. Goldberg spent over four hours doing it, revealing an in-game secret not many know, but we'll get to that. My method for getting a perfect score in Pac-Man was using patterns. So why is it so hard to get that high score? And what can the use of AI in this more than four decade old game tell us about the future of this tech? To answer these questions, I'm going to the one country that has led the way in development of everything from video game consoles to culture. I used to play with a fistful of quarters. Now it's a stack of 100 yen. Whoa, 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 whoa! No trip to Japan's capital, Tokyo, would be complete without hitting up its famous arcades in Akihabara. Oh my gosh, here. 1983 Nintendo game. Original Mario Brothers. It's a classic. Street Fighter is over here. New or retro, there are plenty of games to play. How are you doing, Christy? I can't talk right now. I'm glad to training. There you go. You want me to talk while playing Space Invaders at the same time? You're taunting me. The world's first video game was not coded here, but Japan ignited the world's arcade craze. Taito Space Invaders, was among the first in 1978. And the early 80s brought in the consoles that made Super Mario and later Sega's Sonic household names. Japanese consumers lined up hundreds deep in Tokyo's Akihabara, or Electric City, two days before the hottest video game console in the history of the industry was set to go on sale. From cartridge to CD-ROM to handheld. People want to see what's coming and what the Japanese are doing, because always seem to be ahead of everyone else. Japan's game developers and academics, they pioneered an entire industry. The stereotype is like, you know, um, a teenage boy living in his mom's basement or something, playing games. And this is no longer the case. Most people play games. But it was this game, first released in 1980, that really transformed the young industry. and global pop culture with it, like a starring role in the 2015 Adam Sandler film, Pixels. Pac-Man's a bad guy? Pac-Man was this fantastic game because it's so simple in its graphical representation, but you both have to be strategic about it because you need to outsmart where the ghosts are gonna go, and you need to be quick about it. You need to take the right actions at the right time or you lose, you get caught. Pac-Man's creator, who then worked at the game developer now known as Bandai Namco, says he came up with the character over a meal. I was eating pizza, and when I took out one slice, that's when I got the idea of Pac-Man. 
Toro Iwatani used an early form of AI to give personality to Pac-Man's opponents. There are four ghosts chasing Pac-Man. But if they chase Pac-Man using the same rules, they'll be strung together in a row, which is rather boring. So we used an algorithm where the ghosts surround Pac-Man from all four sides. And that made the game harder with each next level. After designing and releasing your game, were you surprised by how lifelike it felt, especially the ghosts? Yes, they chase Pac-Man very well, so the characteristics are used very well. They're not just enemies. They're also cute and lovable, and I think that was the kind of relationship I was able to create. No pressure! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Would you like to go first? Yes. Okay. More than four decades on, Pac-Man's legacy and impact can still be felt across Japan. Oh, yes. Oh. In arcades and schools, which is where we're going to next, to see how people like Iwatani, who's now a professor, are shaping the next generation of game developers. I understand that they want to study at university, then join a games company to make games. What are you making games for? Is it enough if they're just fun? I believe that thinking about these things and always considering how games should be used for our society will be the basis for creating games in the future. Oh, no, 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 I did no, a technical no, no, error. No, 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 I did a technical error. No, 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 no,